So if you want to make your presentations more effective, more stunning and more professional looking, then you are at the right place. And today's lecture is for you only. Today we are going to look at the three different ways by we can make our presentations live and eye pop. I welcome you all to our channel Live Live. My name is Vikram and let's start the process of learning. So the first way to make a presentation stunning and eye popping is to add a gradient. Let's suppose that we have inserted a shape like if I have pressed a circle I insert one more shape like a rectangle I insert one more shape like a triangle so go to first one and go to the format tab and in the fill options there are no fill solid fill right now it's a solid fill and I can add a gradient fill in there also in gradient fill you can see the color varies in the direction of selection I can delete those I can change the colors from here perfect I can change the colors according to the requirement if I do multiply then this is giving a whole different effect to our image than the solid one perfect like this circle is there I have preset gradients also but I will not use that in the type we have linear radial rectangular and path in radial if I see the color will vary in the radial direction whatever direction I choose perfect in these ways I can select both if I go to this rectangular one then again if I go to gradient fill then here I can see that linear options are there linear options are there perfect and rectangular options are also there so that color varies in a rectangular direction color varies in a rectangular fashion perfect same we can do with this third shape one more option is there path option the path color varies like this so by using gradient we are giving a new life to our shapes we are giving a new eye popping effect to our shapes that makes our presentation more beautiful and more professional looking now the second tip is to use overlays the overlays can be used in a very effective manner like if I see that I have inserted a shape I will select one shape from my desktop like if I insert this shape so I have inserted the shape there I will make it a little bit smaller now this is very plain looking but beautiful a picture perfect now this is the picture there now what I will do I will insert some shapes there I will select some right angle triangle so I will draw it there I will place it to the corners perfect now we will use the first property of fill shape in a gradient way if I go there I will fill gradient on one side I am going to select the black color on the other side I am going to select this bluish one I can play with that I will select this one and I will select the shape outline to the no outline now we can set the transparency perfect we can make it a little bit bigger perfect now we will control D it to duplicate and we will rotate it perfect place it to the other now see the effect now see the effect it has given a whole new life to that picture now I can insert a text box there 
and I can write here anything I will change the text to black I will change the text now this has been made into a title style a beautiful shape with the beautiful inserts and by using that overlays we have given a whole new life to that picture now comes the third one giving a 3d effect to an image giving a 3d effect to an image if i have inserted some some shape there i have inserted the shape and I want to give it a 3D effect. Then go to this option and go to 3D format. Then there are top level because this is the top side. This one is top side. So I will select some like this one if I select. And here I can increase the width and the height. Now see the magic. This has given a whole new effect. If I go to insert and insert a circle then again go to 3d format and i select the top bevel with this round one now see the effect now see how beautiful it has been here also we can use the gradient fill we can select here radial because it's circular shape select this one so let's see the effect so this is the whole new effect that are giving so these were the three tips for today thanks for joining and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon thanks a lot jai hind